Hey guys, so um, I am really excited right now. I have quite the haul to show you. Um, I have been kind of hauling this haul here for at least a week. Whoops, Millie wants to say hi. <laughs> um, anyways, I have been shopping for um, over the week at Chanel and I have to say Chanel is stepping up their game. Their new lip colors and the summer 2011 collections are amazing and you have to go check them out. So. With that said, I really, I went to Chanel more than once this week, which is very bad, but I had a lot to celebrate this week and I just kind of wanted to splurge and um, I'm done. I'm done for a while, for real. Um, the first two things I want to talk to you about are their new hydrating lip shines, I think they're called. Um, they're awesome and they come in little packages like this, which are slightly skinnier than the normal Chanel lipsticks. But anyways, I got two of them, and I absolutely love them. I got these first, and I've been using them all week as um, just in my purse. They're so easy to, like, glide on. I absolutely love them. Um, the first one I got is in number 52, and it's either Fetish or Fetiche. These Chanel names kill me. I have no idea. Um, but it's a gorgeous rose color, and I have it on right now with a gloss over it that I'm going to talk about in a second. But it's actually pretty pigmented, but... Um, they're very hydrating, so it almost feels like you're putting on a lip balm, but they do have pigmentation and a lot better staying power than a lip balm, obviously. And then I had to get number 54, which is Boy. This is sort of like the iconic one everyone's talking about. Um, absolute gorgeous pink color. It looks very similar to Fetish, or Fetish, whatever the heck that one is called, <laughs> in the tube, but um, they are very different on the lips. This is definitely more pink, where this one is more rose. So I absolutely love those. My mom got one too, and she's obsessed with it. So I think those are great, and you should definitely check them out. Their new summer line, which is so much fun, and I guess I'll start with this first, because yellow nail polish is huge for spring. I mean, if you follow the trends at all, you have to have yellow nail polish, even yellow clothing. Like yellow is a very cool color, and you need to have it. So. I've been looking at magazines and I love the color yellow. It is one of my favorite colors, but I'm like, yellow nail polish, how am I going to pull that off? And I knew, once I heard that Chanel was coming out with one, that Chanel would help me do this in a way. You know, Chanel makes me fall in love with everything because Chanel has a weird way of um, making a very strange nail polish color really cool. I went ahead and got it and it's called Mimosa. It's a gorgeous sunny yellow color with, um, it almost looks like kind of like orange micro shimmer in it. It's awesome. Um, this in the summer with a tan, amazing. So yellow nail polish, I expect this to sell out really quickly. Try to get your hands on it, it's a really cool color. But then um, there's another color here which I didn't even hear of until I went to the counter. It's very kind of unexpectedly awesome and it's called Morning Rose. And it's just this gorgeous like peaky pink peach color with gold shimmer. Um, Honestly, it doesn't look like anything I own, and I was like, oh, another pink nail polish. I need that, like, I need a hole in the head. But seriously, this is a very different color, and uh, once you swatch it, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll love it. Then, I think the absolute must-have for this collection, um, aside from the Mimosa nail polish, is this eyeliner. Totally unexpected again. And what's this called? Okay, Rose Platine. I was, I got the last one at my counter, totally, they were totally sold out and it just went on display today. Um, this is so unique, I apologize, I have a bandaid on my hand, that's so gross. I don't even know if you can see it, it has like different shimmer, it's almost like rose gold meets platinum, does that make sense? Okay, and then, Soleil Tan de Chanel, yes, that's how you say it. Um, I really wanted the coral one, but I got the one called the one called Bronze Rose because the coral one was really dark, like um, medium to dark skin tones for sure would benefit from this. This one's even a little dark, but it it gave me a really healthy glow. I'm wearing it right now, and I just really liked it. Um, it comes in really pretty packaging, of course, and a brush that you can totally use. I really do like this brush here by Chanel. Um, it is very soft, and you can use this brush. It's like the one brush from any compact that you can actually use. So that's pretty nifty, but a big mirror, so I'm sorry if I'm blinding you. But this is the color right here. And these three um, we use as a bronzer, and then this I used on my cheeks. And it's just really pretty. 
very soft, but it gave me a lot of color and I'm very pale, so <laughs> I like a little bit of color. I think when I'm tan um, in the summer, it's gonna work a lot better, but for now, I really, really like this. And then I have one more thing from this whole collection, probably the one thing I didn't need to buy, but I did because I have a problem. I told you guys, I have a, I have a problem, okay? I do, I admit it. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, their Glossomers are amazing quality. The staining power is amazing. I love how they're not sticky. I'm a big fan of their Glossomers, so I decided to get this one, which is called number 267. I'm not gonna show you one here because it's so small, but um, it is a gorgeous rose color with all this different color and micro shimmer, but mainly gold. Um, again, so pretty. And I have it on right now just a little bit, um, and I have it over the Fetiche. And they're very similar in color, so it just gives you a nice glossy look. It's the perfect, like, um, rose color. I think, you know, Chanel has really stepped it up this season. And these are two great collections, the Lip Shines and the Summer 2011 collection. Um, I think it's definitely worth a shot if you're, you know, near a counter and you just want to check it out. Um, I highly suggest it. I am done buying makeup. Uh, I need probably to go to therapy and then... I'll stop buying makeup. Um, I have treated myself more than enough now and I'm, I'm done buying makeup for a while. Only the necessities like mascara and stuff because that's really important. Now that I have so much makeup, I'm looking for things that are unique and different to my collection. So I really, when I saw these pieces, I don't have anything like them. And that's just something really cool. So um, let me know what you think of this collection. If you purchased anything, if you saw it in the mall, like what did you think? And uh, what are your summer collection must-haves? I know so many brands are doing um, summer collections, so I'm so excited to see what's in store. And yeah, let me know what you think. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!